In today's video demonstration, we are going to see how to manage partition in Windows Server 2016. There are tons of third-party partition managers are available for Windows partition management, but Windows has built-in utility to manage the all partitions on Windows Server. With the help of disk management tools, you can create, delete, format or resize the partition and change their drive letters all without downloading or paying for any other third-party softwares. So the quickest way to open the disk management tool is just click on a start button and then select disk management. This is the console from where you can manage your partitions. As you are seeing, the windows is divided into two panes. First one, the top one, uh, the top pane shows you the list of your partitions referred to as the volumes and the next one, the bottom one shows you the graphical representation of your storage devices. So when you are creating a partitioning on your hard drive, there is a certain rules which you have to follow like a maximum four primary partitions can be created on any MBR hard disk. The limitation of four primary partition is that when one partition is applied to the system, the master boot record is structured. There is only one primary partition can be designated as active partition and this partition is used to boot the system. BIOS will only recognize the active partition for loading operating system other partitions can be recognized. To break the limitation of at most four primary partition, you have to create a three or less primary partition plus one extended partition and there you can create a logical drive. So let's do it. As you are seeing, we have a basic disk and with MBR partition style. Uh, the first partition is system reserve partition and this is a six C drive. Uh, on that already we have installed the our operating system. So during the installation process, we create these two partitions. As you are seeing, both partitions are primary partitions. So let's create another partition. To create a partition, you just have to click on unallocated space, then right click on it and select new volume. Click on next on uh, welcome to the new simple volume wizard console. Here you can specify the uh, size of your partitions. As you are seeing, we have a maximum space uh, nearby 400 GB. And minimum disk space we can uh, use to create a partition is 8 MB. So let's specify the size. I'm going with uh, approximately 100 GB. Click on next. Now here you can specify the drive letter or if you want to mount this partition inside any empty NTFS folder, you can mount it. So for this demonstration, I'm going with a drive letter and let's assign the first free drive letter that is D and click on next. Here you have to specify if you want to format the partition, that time you have to specify this options like uh, which file system you want to use to format this partition. So by default is it NTFS. We can also use XFET or REFS to format the partition. But we are going with a default NTFS. Here's the allocation unit and that is a by default. Uh, here you can specify the volume label as per your requirement. Let's for example specify the data and here we have options for a performer quick format. If you want to enable file and folder level compressions from the partition level, you can select this checkbox. But we are happy with only one box. Click on next and click on finish. And that's it. As you are seeing, we have a partition and that is now if I open my computer and if you click on this PC, as you are seeing, we have a C drive as well as we have a D drive name data. Still, we have an unallocated space. Now, if I try to create another primary partition and if you specify the size again, 102400, click on next, next next and finish now you can create a fourth partition and the automatically that partition will be converted into extended partition and inside you will see the new volume with logical drive so this is the way how we can create an extended partition we can create a primary partition and we can create a logical drive now let's see how we can format the partition so as you are seeing we have a e drive and if after creating a partition, if you want to format the partition, that time you have to just click on a format. Here you have a options, uh, specify the volume label, you can specify the F file system and as well as you can specify the allocation unit if you want to change from the default value. Just click on OK and it will give you one uh, confirmation box. It is saying that formatting this volume will erase all data on this partition, back up any data you want to keep before formatting. So do you want to continue? Click on OK to format it. And as you are seeing, it's saying the formatting and now we have a partition after the formatting. 
You can uh, also format the partition by right clicking them on uh, Windows Explorer and then select uh, the format option. So let's go back to our computer and here we have a e-drive just right click on it and select format. Here you can also specify these parameters like here is the capacity is 100 GB. Now here is the file system that is NTFS default and here is the by default allocation unit. You can also reset the, this device to default value and then click on start to format this partition. Again the same warning message is there. Formatting will all, erase all data on this disk. To format the disk, click on OK. To quit, click on Cancel. Let's click on OK. And that's it. Format complete successfully. Click on OK and click on Close. In the next step, we want to delete a partition. So if you want to delete a partition, that time you have to just right click on it and select Delete the Volume. OK. And OK. Now, as you are seeing, we have a free space and that is the extended partition. If you want to delete the extended partition, that time you just have to right click on it and select delete partition, click on yes. And now, as you are seeing, we have a unallocated space up to 300 GB. So when you're deleting a partition, it will delete every single file on the partition. So be careful when you are going to use it. So after creating a partition, uh, formatting a partition and deleting a partition, now let's see how we can resize a partition in disk management. So as you are seeing, we have a 97.66 GB interface size on the detail. Now let's first, we are going to see the shrink volume. So remember, extended and shrinking have some basic limitation. You can only shrink a partition if it has enough free space. And you can only extend a partition if it has an unallocated space to the right of it on the same drive. For this demonstration, we are going to shrink this volume. As you are seeing, we have a 100% free space on our D drive and that's why we can uh, easily shrink the partition. So click on it. So you can enter the amount of space to shrink the volume and let's specify 50. Click on shrink. Now, as you are seeing, the size of D partition is 48.83 because we already uh, shrink 50 GB from that partition. Now, next, we want to extend the partition. Now, for example, if we want the D drive up to 150 GB and as you are seeing, we have an unallocated space just beside the partitions. So that time, we can easily extend our partition. So, let's see how we can extend a partition. To extend a partition, right click on it and select action volume. Click on next on welcome wizard. Now here you can specify the size of your uh, partition. Uh, how much amount you want to extend. So let's specify you want uh, 100 GB. Click on next and click on finish. Now as you are seeing our partition size is 146.48 GB with NTFS file system. Now let's see how we can uh, change the drive letter of the partition. By default system allocate the D drive letter to this partition. Now instead of D, if you want to use E drive letter, so that time you can specify, just right click on it and select change drive letter in path and now click on change. Here you can select the next drive letter and so I want to use E drive letter and that's why I'm going to change it. Click on OK, click on Yes and here we go. Now as you are seeing, we have a drive letter E on this partition. Let's come back to the our PC and uh, let's copy certain data like I just copy program file and let's paste under e drive. Okay, so we just copy certain data on our D drive. Now let's come back to the disk management. Now I just going to remove the drive letter from the partition. Okay, remove it. Click on yes and now. If we open a Windows Explorer and if you click on a this PC, as you are seeing, now we do not have a uh, E partition, that is a data partition is not available over here. Now let's create a one mount point because we want to mount the partition into empty NTFS folder. Specify the name, that's data. Now as you are seeing, this is a normal folder and if you see the property of this data folder, this look like a normal folder like we have a sharing, security, previous version and customized options in the property of that folder. Now let's mount this partition inside this NTFS folder. Let's do it. Just right click on it. Select change revolutor and path. Now click on add. 
Now instead selecting assign the following drive letter, you have to select mount in this following empty NTFS folder. Click on browse. We have a C drive. Under C drive, we have a data folder and click on OK. If you do not have any folder, that time you can create a new folder by clicking over here. Click on OK. To select the data folder, click on OK. And that's it. Let's come back to the C drive. Now, as you are seeing, we have a different icon over there from the normal folder. And if you see, if you go inside the data folder, now you are seeing the same program files are there, which we earlier copied to our E drive. And now if you see the property of this uh, data, now this time it is mounted. Now click on property. This will open the original property of your partition maker. Now we have options, tools, hardware, security and shadow copy options is also there. Click on OK, click on OK and coming back to the disk management. So that's it for this video demonstrations. Thanks for watching this video.